Hello and welcome to Indelible Gaming. I'm Tommy and today I am going to show you how to set up the Astro A40 TRs for your Xbox, for your PC, and for both. So, let's get into this bad boy. I'm going to show you how to set everything up for the Xbox One here. The materials that you guys are going to need all come with the Astro A40 TR, so you're not going to have to buy anything else. We've got the actual micro USB to USB that goes into the mix amp. We've got the actual mix amp. We have the SPIF digital optical cable. We've got the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable with inline mute. We've got the microphone for the headset, the headset itself, and then of course the Xbox One. So I'm going to show you where you start off, even though really you can do this in any order you so please. So we have the actual mix amp itself. And then over here on the top, you see this USB cable. Then we've got the micro USB to USB. So we're going to take this end, the micro USB. We're going to plug it into the mix amp like so. And then this other USB is going to plug in to the back of your Xbox or the side because there are three USBs on the Xbox One. Here is one of the USBs, here's the other, and then the other one is on the side right there. So we're going to plug this other USB in and to the Xbox One, and then that's all we've got for that right so far. The next thing that you're going to grab is your SPIF digital optical cable. Once again, on the top of the mix amp, right here, you've got the digital optical cable. It says optical, so you're going to plug that guy in. And then with the other end, you have the digital optical cable right there. So we're going to plug that in. Now we've got just the mix amps, so we've got pretty much everything hooked up now. Now you're going to grab the actual headset itself, the inline mute cables, and the microphone. On the 3.5 millimeter cable that comes with the Astros, as I untangled it, there is an inline mute button that you can see right there. The end closest to that is going to go into the bottom of the headset right here. The other end, furthest away from that inline mute, is going to go where you see the headset button on your actual mix amp. And then the only thing that you have to do from there is if you want to use your chat, plug that in to the side. And then the Astro A40 TRs are now hooked up to your Xbox console. So now we're going to go in. There is one setting that you need to change actually in settings on your Xbox console. So I'm going to cut to that right here. All right, guys. So here we are at the Xbox home. Yes, this one probably looks a lot different than what you're used to because this is the new Xbox One home dashboard that you guys are going to see on the next big update. I am part of the preview program and I was lucky enough to be able to experience this a little bit early. But when you plug in your Astro A40 TRs into your console, you're going to see that headset assigned, which means you're going to be able to assign that to your actual person. And then what happens from there is you need to go to settings, which is going to look a little bit different than this. On the normal Xbox, you're going to press start, go down to settings, and then you are going to go to display and sound. You're going to do audio output. It should be on the far right whenever you do find it. It's going to say HDMI audio. You can leave that alone. Then you're going to make sure that you go to under the optical audio, the bitstream out. And then bitstream format, you want to make sure that you're clicking Dolby Digital. 
and then you are all set to go. The only other thing that you need to do is make sure that your console, that your mix amp is on the right settings. So I'm gonna cut to that real quick. So this is what your mix amp should be looking like. We have got the power button right here, which you're going to want to make sure is red because that means that you are on console. And then down here, you've got your different presets. There's gonna be four of them. And each time you press this button, the light is going to change. So the very first one is for Astro, which is tuned for serious gamers, specifically for the A40 headset. Then the second one is gonna be flat which bypasses the EQ block. And then the third one is going to be balanced for daily use. And then the last one is gonna be the tournament one, tuned for tournament use. And it works great supposedly with the TR mod kit. So that is what that button does. And then you're gonna make want to make sure that this light is on instead of off because if it's off like that that means you're getting stereo sound and if it on if it is on that means you are getting the dolby digital and then of course we've got the, the different volume buttons for the master volume and then down here you've got the eq volume so you're going to have the voice and the game mix so that is where you're going to need you don't need any controllers going to your actual headset itself so i will cut right now to show you how that works because as you can see right here I have nothing plugged in to the actual A40s here are the A40s and since it is through USB that is the way that the actual voice is going to go through on your Xbox so you don't even have to worry about it so as long as you have this headphone in you guys are going to be able to talk in game or in a party or whatever and just to prove it to you i am going to leave this recording going just to prove it and also show you it on the xbox one here we are i'll even try i'll try to hold all these at the same time even though i don't actually i can't actually see this so we're going to go over here on our xbox we're going to start a party and then if you see how i'm talking I can't I can't talk and show you at the same time so you can see the blue ring light up when I'm talking so I'm gonna stop talking and as you can see it's off and then when I t start talking it lights up which shows you that the chat is working and there is nothing plugged in to my controller or anything so there you guys go no more chat cable pretty freaking awesome right and that is all you guys have to do to set up the Astro A40 TRs to the console, the Xbox One console. Pretty simple, and it sounds absolutely amazing. Make sure, if you guys want to know more information about this headset, make sure you guys check out my review. It will be out tomorrow, which the actual date, if you're seeing this in the future, will be October 10th. So if you're past that date, then it's already up. But if you're not past that date, then go check that guy out as well. All right. So on to the other setups. Here is what you're going to need if you are just hooking your Astro A40s TRs to your PC. So we've got... The PC, of course, I'm going to use a laptop because that is better for demonstration purposes. Then we've got the 3.5 millimeter with inline mute. We've got the actual mixer. Then we've got the USB and we've got the headset. So this is going to be pretty similar to what we did with the Xbox. Starting off, we are going to be grabbing our USB cable with micro USB. We're going to plug that in to the top once again where it says USB. Then we're going to take the other end and on your computer you're going to find a USB spot slot. So on this laptop it is right there. So that plugs in there. Then you're going to grab your 3.5 millimeter plug with inline mute. Once again the the one closest to the inline mute goes into the bottom of your Astro headset and then the other end goes into the bottom where you see headphones 
and then you plug that in and then you're going to when you power this on you're going to hold that power button for three seconds until it turns white and i will actually show you a live model but it's going to look a little different than this and then you also have to change some settings on your pc so i'm going to cut to that stuff right now you've got your astro mix amp plugged into your computer and now this is probably what you're seeing so or pretty close to this so this red button or this power button up here is actually going to be red for you guys right now so you need to make sure that you hold that for three seconds it'll turn white like this and that means that you are in pc mode because if you don't do that then you're not going to be seeing the settings that i'm about to show you so if you're seeing a usb sound device instead usb astro or something like that setting that means you haven't done this right you need to make sure you turn it on to pc mode all right so now i'm going to cut really fast and show you what you need to do on the computer here we are in our computer. This should all look very familiar to you. I have a whole bunch of stuff open. But if you go over down to the corner where you see headphones, click playback devices. Under here, most people are probably only going to have, you know, Realtek high definition audio. And then now you're going to have two new options, your Astro Mix Amp Pro Game and Astro Mix Amp Pro Voice. You're going to make sure that you click the Astro Mix Amp Pro Game for both your default communication and your default. So I don't actually have it, but you're going to make sure that you're doing the set as default and communication by right clicking on this. Since I've already done it, I don't have the option. Then you're going to go over to your recording settings. You're going to go down to your headset microphone. You're going to do the same exact thing. You want to make sure that you're doing Astro Mix Amp Pro Voice. And now you're all set up. You want to keep in mind that these Astro Mix Amp Pro game is only 5.1 on the computer. So if you're not really digging that, what you're going to have to do is, unfortunately, just use an auxiliary cable and then set up one of your Realtek High Definitions or whatever else you use for virtual surround sound. But from there on, now you have everything set up. And one quick thing, just because I'm sure people will ask, if you go under Tools Options for Skype and then you go to Audio Settings, what you're going to want to make sure that you're picking is your headset microphone Astro Mix Amp Pro Voice and your Astro, your headset earphone Astro Mix Amp Pro Voice as well. Now, that might seem a little weird because you're going to go, wait, why is that? But that allows you to use the actual mix amp, the small knob that is on your Astro A40s, to be able to mix the volume while you're inside a game where that bigger file will be adjusting the actual sound that you're hearing through your headset. It's the same thing for TeamSpeak or whatever else. It'll look a lot like this. So that is all you have to do. Now your headset is completely set up. The only other thing is make sure that your Dolby button is surrounded by a red ring because that means that it's on. If it is off, that means you're getting stereo 2.0 sound instead of the 5.1. I may be wrong about you getting 5.1 sound. I don't have the right type of gear to test that kind of thing. Where I get that information is when I go down to my playback devices and I go to test this, I get 5.1 instead of 7.1. All right, so now you've set it all up for your computer. Good job. All right, guys, so here are all the things that you're going to need if you want to plug in your mix amp to your computer and Xbox at the same time. I'm actually going to show you two different ways to do it because depending on what you're looking to get out of it is the way depends on two different configurations. So the items that we have so far, we've got the audio optical cable right here. We've got the 3.5 millimeter inline with inline mute auxiliary cable right here. We've got the TR headset right here, the mix amp right there. We've got the USB right here, the Xbox, a laptop because it's easier to show for demonstration purposes, and a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable as well without the inline mute. So we're gonna start as usual with the actual mix amp itself. On the top here, you've got the USB, so you're gonna grab the USB and micro USB cable. The micro end is going to go into the top of that USB. Then the other USB end 
it's going to go into your computer in the USB slot. Then we're going to grab the digital SPIF cable and we're gonna plug that into the top of the mix amp. Once again, that is right there. It says digital. So you're gonna plug that in. That goes into the digital cable on your Xbox, which is right there. Then you're gonna grab the headset and the 3.5 millimeter jack that came with the headset. And that is closest to the inline mute goes into the bottom of the headset. And then the other end goes into the bottom where it shows headphones of the mix amp. And then you're all set. So, that is the actual plugging in stuff. There is a lot of hardware stuff that you, not a lot of hardware stuff, but some hardware stuff that we are going to have to go into as well. One note that is important to mention right now is whenever you plug in an SPIF into this mix amp, it is going to take priority over the other sound. So when we were plugged into the computer with just this USB before, without that, we were able to get sound from the mix amp and computer sound at the same time. Well, once you add the SPIF into the mix, everything gets a little more confusing. So I'm going to go more into depth on that now. So we're going to switch over to a different cut and explain all of that. All right, so now you have your Astro Mix Amp plugged into your computer and your Xbox One. Your auxiliary cable is running over into your Xbox One. Your mini USB to USB is plugged into your computer, and now your Mix Amp is on. It's going to look a little different than this because this power button is not going to be white yet. It's going to be surrounded by a red circle. So what you're going to have to do, hold that bad boy, boy for three seconds. It's going to switch over to white, and then you're also going to want to make sure that this has a red ring around it because that means the Dolby is on. Now we're going to cut to the actual screen capture and show you the settings that you need to change on your PC. Here we are over on the PC side. I've got Windows 10. That's what I'm running. You're going to go down over to the right hand corner of your screen. You're going to click playback devices. Right click that. Go to playback devices. It'll bring up this bad boy. You're going to have a few options. You're going to want to go to the Astro Mix Amp Pro game. Right click that and then make sure that you set it as default and default communication device. Then you're going to go over to recordings. You're going to do the same exact thing under the Astro Mix Amp Pro voice. So once again, set default device and see it set default communication device under this guy. Now you're all set up. You are able to get sound from your PC right now. This is where things get a little more confusing for the Astro Mix Amp. So, once again, we have the Astro Mix Amp. We've got the SPIF going to the Xbox. We've got this going to our PC. On our PC, if we don't have our Xbox on and this is plugged in, we're getting our PC sign. We're, we're getting 5.1 surround sound through our PC. I could be wrong about the 5.1, it could be 7.1, I don't know, I feel like it's 5.1. If you know better, leave it down in the comment section below. Anyways, but the moment you turn on your Xbox, this is going to take over the mix amp. So instead of getting PC sound from your PC now, you are only getting your Xbox sound through here. Yet, you're still able to use this microphone on your PC because that is still set up correctly. And then if you go into Skype, which I'll cut to right here. So here we are on our computer. We need to set up the Skype settings or the TeamSpeak settings the correct way. So when you're playing your Xbox and the audio is going into your mix amp, you can also chat on your computer. So you're going to want to go to your audio settings here. You're going to want to make sure your headset microphone Astro Mix Amp Pro Voice is selected. And then for speakers, you want to make sure that your heads 
headset earphone astro mix amp pro voice is also selected so you can use the little dial to change the volume for game and voice now that your skype settings are set correctly so they are on pro voice for both things so you can still use this knob to make them louder or quieter or whatever while you're talking on TeamSpeak or whatever and you're playing your Xbox you can and the settings that you're going to want to make sure you can have this on white for your PC which is what you're going to want you want to make sure that this power button is white so that gives you the correct options on your PC which are the headset microphone astro mix amp pro voice because if you don't have this on then you're going to be getting a USB device instead you can use that if you want to but it might mix some things up where you can't actually use this dial. But since that is set up, you're still able to use voice while you're playing your Xbox, and you're still getting the 7.1 surround sound as long as this button is on on your Xbox. So you've got the best of both worlds. You're able to talk on your computer, and you're able to hear everything on your game. However, if you like to listen to music or something while you're gaming, and you do that through your computer, you can't do that anymore by just having this USB plugged in and the SPIF because SPIF is taking over. So that is where the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable comes into handy. Here we've got the 3.5 millimeter cable. And then of course, we've got the mix amp right here once I can get it right. So on the bottom, you've got your auxiliary cable. You're going to plug one end right into that. And then the other end is going to go into your computer, wherever your microphone or headphone settings is, like that. And then everything is set up that way. And then what you're going to do is some more stuff on the computer. So I will cut to that right here, right now, and show you that. All right, so here we are on our computer. Once again, we're going to go down to playback devices over in the bottom right. And instead of having the Astro Mix Amp Pro game select as your default communication device and default device, you're going to go over to whatever your normal sound is for your computer. In my case, it's the Audio Advantage Micro 2. So I'm going to set that as my default device because then that means when I play any sound on my computer, it's going to go through that auxiliary cord into this mix amp. So I'm still going to be able to hear volumes of what's happening on my computer. I'm also still going to be able to use voice and I'm also still going to be able to hear volume from my Xbox One on my mix amp. So what that really means when I break it all down is I can hear volume from my Xbox so we'll say game volume from the Xbox. I can hear a music on my PC and I can hear my and I can use the chat on the Astro Mix amp on my computer. And then you've got everything set up. You can, you know, you keep that there. You keep the Skype settings the same and everything. And now you've got all sound all around. You aren't, however, when you go into a game or whatever, going to be using the Mix amp surround sound. You're going to be using whatever your computer uses for simulated surround sound or stereo sound. So in the case of me, like this Audio Advantage Micro 2 is a 7.1 simulated surround sound. So I get that through the mix amp, but it's not going to be the same thing as the 5.1 surround sound that if I had this Astro mix amp set up. So hopefully all of that makes sense. If not, let me know in the comment section. All right, so now you should know how to hook it up just to your Xbox, just to your PC, and both. If you are unclear on some things or have some questions or something like that, please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will try to answer them to the best of my knowledge. The review will be coming out very soon, so if you're wondering some other things that aren't setup related, they will probably be answered in my review instead of in this video, so make sure to check that out. 
All right, so that is all I have. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a dislike. And of course, if you've been following my content for a while or want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe. I also have a Twitter and a Facebook, and I will leave those links in the con in the description below. All right, we'll see you later. See ya.